So, 2 vertices P and Q are, this one is P, this one is Q, find the vertex X. So, we have P, Q, R on the X axis. So, we know this one is on the X axis. So, what happens is, if this one is on the X axis, so we know that your Y is equal to 0. So, we know that we don't know what is the point here. So, maybe this one is A and this one is 0. Find the coordinate of R such that the area of P, Q, R is 10 unit. So, we know that when we want to calculate the area of triangle, so area is equal to half and then you put the coordinate. So, A, B, C, D. Half. So, we know that we have P, Q. So, this one is something like this. So, A, B, C. You, have, you will have three points, right, for a triangle and you need to come back at A. So, it doesn't matter because yet you will have three points. So, for example, you have P, Q, R, right? P, Q, R. It doesn't matter if you write uh, P, R, Q, but need to end up with P. If this one, the first one start with P and up with P, P. If you start with Q, need to end up with Q. Start with R, need to end up with R. So, choose a point which is easier for you to calculate. Right? So, this one doesn't matter if you start with P or R. So, I just start with P and then this one is Q. This one is R and this one is back to P. So, P is 3, 4. Q is 1, negative 2. And then R, we know that it is A, 0. And then P is 3, 4. So, you see here, first one and the last one is the same. So, which is equal to... So, this one is half. So, up to down is multiply. 2 times negative 3, you get negative 6. 1 times 0 plus 0. A times 4, you get 4A. So, up to down is plus. So, this one is actually plus negative 6. So, you still get negative 6. So, down to up is minus. So, minus 4 times 1 is 4. Minus negative 2 times A, you get negative 2A. Or you see here negative and negative, you can di also directly write positive to A. And this one is 0 times 3, you get plus. So this one is 0 times 3, so here you get 0 lah, minus 0 is 0 lah. So here you get half, so negative 6. So this one is negative 6 plus 4A minus 4, minus minus become positive 2A. So, we know that this one is equal to 10 unit because this one is the area. Area is 10 unit. Okay. So, this one, half time 10, you get 20, right? So, now you are left with the modulus. So, 4A times 2A, you get 6A. Negative 6 minus negative. Negative 6 minus negative 4, you get negative 10. So, you see here you have a modulus. So, what happens is you have 6a minus 10 is equal to 20, right? So, when you have a modulus, we know that everything inside the modulus will become positive. So, if we remove the modulus, there, there is two possibilities. It's either 6a minus 10 is equal to 20 or 6a minus 10 is equal to negative 20. Why I said that? If this one, the value is negative, it will become positive. If this one is positive, it will become positive. So, if we remove the modulus, there is two options, positive 20 or negative 20. So, here 6a minus 10 is equal to 20 and here we have 6a minus 10 is equal to negative 20. So, this one 6a is equal to, so we bring to the other side, we become positive 10. 6a is equal to 30, a is equal to 30 divided by 6 which is equal to 5. So, in this case 6a minus 10 is equal to negative 20. We bring at one side, 6a is equal to negative 20. Negative 10 will become positive 10. So, we have negative 10. So, 6a is equal to negative 10. a is equal to negative 10 over 6 which is negative 5 over 3. So, coordinate of, L, of R, there is two possible coordinates. is either 5, 0 because we know that this one is A, 0 or this one is negative 5 over 3, 0. 
fish show that three show that point this one one two three are collinear what does it mean by collinear that means it is on a straight line so a b c for example so it is on the straight line so we know that when it is a straight line so the area is equal to zero why because we couldn't get the area if the all the three point is on a straight line so using the formula so area is equal to half so this one if you start with eight four this one is two one negative two negative one you need don't forget to end it up with four you can start with any point even if you want to start with two one also okay but then make sure you end it up this one is two one okay so if you can prove that the area is equal to zero then it is collinear so half so up to down so here up to down eight times one is positive two times negative one so up to down is plus two times negative one is negative two negative two times four is negative eight okay this one you see you add up from down to up you minus minus four times two is eight minus eight and then two times negative two is negative two but minus negative two negative one times eight is negative eight but minus negative eight see here if you can uh, you can also directly write positive 8 doesn't matter just show you how the method works so negative 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 up to down to up negative up to down you add so half so this one is 8 minus 2 this one is plus negative minus 8 this one is minus 8 this one is plus 2 negative 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 is positive 8 so you can see that this one negative 8 and 8 can be cancelled out negative 8 and 8 can be cancelled out negative 2 and 2 can be cancelled out so you get half 0 which is 0 so this one is collinear because you get the area is 0 it, which means it is on the straight line all the three points is on the straight line for points E, F, G are collinear, find the value of P. So, collinear means on the straight line. The same thing happened in A. So, we can find the area. We know that this one, area is equal to 0. So, half. So, this one is negative 2, negative 1, 2, P, 10, 5. You see here, X and Y. And then, don't forget to come back to negative 2, negative 1. You close back. We know that this one is 0. Okay, you can bring 2 to the other side and you get 0. So the model is here. Negative 2 times P, you get negative 2P. Right? And then 2 times 5, you add up, you get 10. Plus 10 times negative 1, you get negative 10. See here, up to down is positive. And then down to up is minus. Negative 2 times 2, negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. So minus negative so p times 10 is 10p minus 10p 5 times negative 2 is negative 10 right so minus negative 10 close back and this one is supposed to be 0 because this one 2 times 0 you bring to the other side you will get 0 as well so anything is equal to 0 then you can remove the modulus okay so here negative 2p Negative 2p minus 10p, you get negative 12p. So you are done with your p here. So here you have 10 minus 10. So you see here, this one is equal to 0. So you can remove the modulus. So here you have negative 2p plus 10 plus minus 10 and negative 10. Negative positive 2, you get negative negative 2 you get positive 2 this one is minus 10p minus minus become positive which is equal to 0 so here you see 12 negative 12p minus 10p you get negative 12p so here you see here plus 10 and negative 10 can be cancelled out and here 2 plus 10 is 12 is equal to 0 so here you see here you bring so you see here you have negative 12p plus 12 is equal to 0 right so 12p you bring to the other side is equal to 12 so p is equal to 1 